Last August, this Lake Oswego family hit a bump. It was like a mosquito bite. Then in maybe five days, it was like a golf ball. Mutsumi Odegaard was visiting relatives in Japan. When the bump spread, Mutsumi went to two Japanese doctors. They said the lesions were fatty tumors, benign. So nobody thought it's cancer. Not even after I came back here to see oncologist. A biopsy at Providence Cancer Center confirmed the source, a rare case of stage 4 lymphoma. Doctors viewing the cancerous cells saw them growing before their eyes. Cancer doesn't show up with a red flag announcing itself. When Mutsumi went to see Dr. John Godwin, she was prepared to hear the word terminal. At home, she had written her will and farewell love letters to her husband and children. When I heard the word curable, I was thinking, oh, thank you, <laughs> thank you, I, I can live, I'll fight, and there was hope. But the cure, six rounds of strong chemotherapy, left Mutsumi feeling lifeless, believing she was on the brink of death. But on the other hand, I know, and particularly as she got further into the treatment, she saw the positive results really quickly. So he was a savior. <laughs> he, he was so nice. The Leukemia and Lymphoma Society's Light the Night Walks raised money to find a cure and to help patients like Mutsumi. She was too sick to walk last year, but she was there. I asked my husband to drive along with them. Everybody's thinking somebody and walking and that strong feeling. It gave you strength? Yes, a lot. It's like you've got another partner on your side when you've got such a great organization working uh, to help the patients overcome the disease and help you find new treatments. Because she had no immune system, Mutsumi was quarantined, even from her family. Her son Luther, daughter Amelie, and husband Ryan couldn't hug or kiss her or even see her until they had showered. Mutsumi praises the Providence nurses who attended her during her treatments. One gave her a phone number and said to call anytime. So professional. There are the best nurses I've ever seen in any hospitals. <laughs> a year ago, Mutsumi couldn't say the word cancer. It scared her so much. Now, with it in remission, she is telling the story of her year-long fight. Hanging over her living room are 1,000 paper origami cranes, each one crafted with a prayer for her recovery. It's my power spot. I, I get power from there. <laughs> 1,000 prayers, a reminder, she says, of God's grace and the love she felt from so many. For Providence, I'm Mike Donahue.